So last time we saw that I, I showed you the Lewis structure of carbon monoxide with a triple bond between the carbon and oxygen, the carbon with a plus charge, the oxygen with a minus charge, and both the carbon and the oxygen atoms have a lone pair. But you may be wondering, how do I know that this is the correct Lewis structure? Can't I, after all, draw other co connections between the carbon and oxygen that would also be Lewis structures? What about this one, for example? C double bond O. I like uh, the idea of two bonds uh, on oxygen because oxygen likes to make two bonds, like in water. And if it makes two bonds, how many lone pairs would it have? The answer is two because it's obeying the octet rule. And with the two bonds and the two lone pairs, that's four pairs of electrons. That's eight electrons. Similarly, carbon has two lone pairs. What's wrong with this guy? And uh, for us to understand what's wrong with it, we need to look at formal charges. Oxygen with two bonds, what's its formal charge? Oxygen with two bonds, its formal charge equals zero. But carbon with two bonds, its formal charge is not zero. Carbon, uh, oxygen neutral likes to make two bonds. So for carbon to make two bonds, it must be acting like oxygen. Therefore, it's gained how many electrons? Put it in chat. For carbon to behave like oxygen, it must gain two electrons. Its formal charge must be minus two. And the rule is, you must always write all non-zero formal charges in a correct Lewis structure. You must write all non-zero formal charges in a correct Lewis structure. And we're very close to seeing what the problem with this structure in green is. Because... Uh, Carbon monoxide is a neutral molecule. A neutral molecule has what charge? Zero. In this blue structure, if I sum all my formal charges, it adds up to a plus and minus, it adds up to zero, which is the actual charge of the system. In my green structure, when I sum up all the formal charges, it adds up to minus two. That's not neutral. So the green structure is actually the structure of CO minus two. And the rule is uh, the sum of the formal charges must equal the charge of the molecule or the ion, as is in the case of the correct Lewis structure shown in blue for carbon monoxide. This is probably also a good place to learn about multiple bonding. And uh, 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 main group atoms can make double bonds. We saw that with O2 and triple bonds. In the case of carbon monoxide, is it a double bond or triple bond? Put it in chat. Put it in chat. Uh, it is a triple bond, but main group atoms cannot make quadruple bonds. Uh, transition metals, by the way, can. So, that's one rule about main group uh, multiple bonding. Um, and the second rule is that all, it's written in purple on top, all stable main group multiple bonds, with the exception of fluorine, have a second row main group element involved in the bond. So, uh, which of these two compounds is certainly less stable? S2 like that, or O2? I'll put the lone pairs in. Uh, and the answer is, put it in chat, S2. S2 uh, is does not involve second row atoms. It's a third row atom. And I think to make S2, you, you have to heat under ordinary pr pressure to temperatures something like 1,000 degrees centigrade, some extremely high temperature.